Hey guys, it's Monday morning. I got the plow hooked on again. That means we are going out to plow again. I got one field done yesterday at uh, what I will refer to as last year's sweet farm. One of the fields is going to have carrots this year. I got that done yesterday. And the boys are at my farm finishing up the fence. There are, they have five power lines up right now, so it's going to be six. They are fixing the gates, so it's easy to open and enter the fields. But I'm going to go to last year's carrot farm, or it will be the sweet farm this year. But the biggest field that we have across all farms is going to have carrots. It's what we call a carrot on carrot field. So I will go and plow up this today. It will take me roughly six hours. The field is 4.2 hectares. I can manage approximately 7 uh, or 0 0.7 hectares per hour. Unfortunately, the, the weather has turned. We, as you can see on my windshield, we got rain and uh, the forecast doesn't say sun for uh, at least 10 days. It, uh, we don't know exactly how it will be, but it's forecasting rain every day, so it might shut us down for a while. But uh, since it's a carrot on carrot field, it's an open field with no grass or weeds or anything, so it's a rush to get this plowed before the weather really kicks in on us. more pleasant ride to turn black compacted soil into new fresh black compacted soil rather than the fields of my place where it's non compacted trench lines it's an easy job it doesn't have to do much only just a little bit up and down the tractor goes smooth and rides perfectly at eight kilometers per hour so the only places I have to think about is where the water has closed the pores of the soil. It's a little bit more challenge, but I don't have to do much. So uh, all in all, it's an easy, easy job where it's only to drive the tractor, actually.
So I had a quick chat with my dad and we discussed a little bit uh, what we can do before the weather really turns. And we decided we'll go on and plow up as much as we can of, the, of this farm. So I'll be hopefully changing with my brother later tonight. I'll finish this film, maybe start on another one and he will come and take over. And uh, we'll hopefully get this done in by Wednesday. I think Wednesday sometime. The farm itself is 11.7 hectares. The only field I can see is a little bit challenging is that uh, field right ahead of you. We call that the weather station field. Got a little bit smashed last year, year by, uh, by rain. So uh, it's a little bit challenging, but all the other fields seems okay. And there is a small patch next to the main road where, where we know it's, it's a little bit uh, challenging, but uh, I think we will leave that into the next dry period. But otherwise, I think everything else will be easy task for us. So then when the next dry period period comes, it's it's uh, only to start cultivating and fertilizing and then we'll hit it with the seed. I'm well over halfway on this field. Still, I got uh, another three hours before I'm finished, I guess, but uh, it's still running as easy as it could be. There's not much to say other than some spots, as I already said. So, yeah, when we're done with this field, I think I will call my brother and get him to come over. He's ha he hasn't plowed anything ever before, so I will spend some time with him to teach him how to do it. But I think he will manage with the not no no problem. So um, he will start on one of the Swede fields. Who we'll has Swedes on everything else rather uh, um, other than this field? So there are uh, five other more fields to do, various sizes. I think we'll start with the top one that's over there somewhere and work our way downwards. Okay, so that's uh, all I gotta say. Maybe I'll put my drone up here and give you some more plowing.
go. That's the biggest field we have across all of our farms, cloud. And we are doing ourselves a big favor now because when the rain stops, if it comes, it will dry out a lot faster. So a milestone of this spring work. Now I'll jump over to this field. I won't take you with me because I'm a little bit tired of the camera for the day. And I will at least make a start on it and hopefully my brother will come out here and take over in a few hours. So that will be it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to check out all of my other videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to check out my Instagram.